It was 1796, and smallpox was the leading cause of death in Europe, killing up to 400,000 people per year. There was a rumor going around the countryside that milkmaids who had been infected with cowpox were immune to the smallpox epidemic. The British physician Edward Jenner decided to further investigate these rumors. Just one moment, Sarah. I just need a small sample from your arm, alright? Up until now, the common practice was variolation, which involves infecting someone with an inoculated form of the smallpox virus and hoping they survive. Jenner was hoping that the cowpox virus, which was similar to smallpox but was not fatal, could provide an answer to finding a way to control the smallpox epidemic. Jenner began his trial on an eight-year-old boy by infecting him with the cowpox from the milkmaid. Two months later, Jenner infected the same young boy with smallpox to see if he was now immune to the virus. How are you feeling today, young man? Fine. Excellent! I proclaim you a good bill of health. You are healthy. I must go publish my results! Yes! No. Continued research since Jenner's time has revealed why vaccines are an effective defense against diseases. A vaccine works by exposing the individual to a less harmful variation of the virus, which causes the body to create memory cells specific to the foreign substance or antigen. This education of immune cells should result in a faster and a more effective reaction to prevent the onset of disease should a subsequent reaction occur. This process is also known as active immunity. Cows help people overcome smallpox, so how have we helped the cows? Well, several vaccinations have been developed for different cattle diseases. For example, one disease that has been completely eradicated, just like smallpox was, is rinderpest, also known as cattle plague. Rinderpest was a worldwide disease that killed over 200 million cattle in Europe alone during the 18th century. Common symptoms included diarrhea, fever, and lesions in the mouth. Mortality rates can reach up to 100% in susceptible herds, and death occurs within 10 to 15 days. In 1920, scientists like J.T. Edwards developed a safe, efficient vaccine. This vaccine, along with global campaigns, led to the complete eradication in 2011. Cattle have benefited from vaccinations for other diseases like bovine virus diarrhea, or BVD. To learn more information about this disease, we are going to go see an expert. So here to talk to us is Dr. Dornenball. So what are some common symptoms of BVD? BVD or bovine virus diarrhea causes diarrhea of a viral nature. It also suppresses the immune system. It also causes respiratory disease and major reproductive failure in naive animals. What was the effect of vaccinations on BVD animals? To prevent a BVD with vaccination is very important. And the economic result is that animals no longer get sick with BVD and they are production animals that do what they're supposed to. So it solves respiratory problems and prevents reproductive issues that will affect the farm's economic. One man's curiosity and determination has benefited not only the human race but the agriculture industry as a whole.